Hi everyone, today we are going to be colouring this little picture here. I'll just show you the book, it's from Welcome to the Village um, by Morgan O'Brien. And there's this cute little page picture here. We're not going to do this Christmassy one, but this he's got a little Halloween um, style pumpkin. So I thought it would be a fun one to do at this time of the year. So let's come in. Excuse my voice. I've got quite a heavy cold. Um, it's fine, but <laughs> it affects my voice, of course. I'm going to start with my orange. I'm going to use these. It's just my Polycolor 12. It's just a 12 set of pencils. You don't have to use exactly the same ones, but... Um, just cut you know it's quite they're quite simple colors so i think it'd be quite fun so this one is called i'm just trying to look because the name has been sharpened off it is called reddish orange <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry i'm going to be a bit sniffy and coffee but as i say i'm okay it's just uh it's just a bit annoying really having a cold especially when i'm trying to um talk <laughs> but hey but I had some, um, it feels like the kitchen is coming together. There's sort of a lot less work to do, which is exciting. Um, the chaps have left for the day. It's, it's four o'clock, so I thought I would just do a quick video before my children came home. So uh, it's good. But uh, yeah, I don't think they even had a lunch break today. Their boss came over lunchtime and they just sort of ploughed on. So I'm doing quite a thick day of orange there. I think it's quite nice to have the pumpkin sort of standing out as this is our Halloween sort of picture. Now, this book is based on Animal Crossing. It is not a game that I have ever, ever played. I'm going to grab the Pyrrole Red to do the lollipop. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to make it stripy because I think it's fun. Like that. Um, so I've got no idea how to colour the character. Now, obviously I could have looked it up, but I thought I wouldn't. I thought I would just colour the character in my own way. And then if you're a big fan of the game or you want the character to look like it should, then absolutely, by all means, um, look it up and do it your way but I'm gonna just have some fun this is the um, reddish brown I'm just gonna do the stick of the lolly like that okay let's think about our character now duck I'm thinking so I'm actually gonna go in with a green this is the um, dark green oh, I'm gonna sneeze hold on right sorry it's quite a loud sneeze it's lucky I stopped the video so I'm gonna make um, the dark this dark green color because I'm thinking um, male mallard duck has quite a lot of green on the face and I don't know I just went to doing green I just felt it was right maybe it's the right color I did I have to admit I did look up animal crossing characters um, a while ago when I first got the book to see what they look like and so maybe it's in my head from that, I don't know. Now I'm just doing a hard layer. I haven't actually done any shadow or shading yet on any of this. But um, I'm actually up for quite a lot of basic colouring today with my cold. Um, so uh, that's what I've been doing quite a bit of. But I'm thinking now about there'll be some shadow under the hat so I'm just going to layer up a little bit here and here I've actually been doing lots of Morgan O'Brien colouring um, lately um, from the Halloween book which has been a lot of fun but I thought I would just um, I've actually looked through all my books to see what Halloween pictures I have and uh, I've got a little part of them so that I can make videos and also just colour myself and have fun and put the pictures up for you. So uh, I found this one and I thought make a fun video because it's fairly simple, which is what I was in the mood for today. There we go. Um, and I'm going to make it a little bit darker at the bottom here. There would be some shadow at the bottom of the arm, so I'm just layering up a little bit, but really... I haven't done a lot, apart from going out for the lines. <laughs> now for the tail feather, I'm actually going to do a bit 
darker near the body and make the ends of the feathers a little bit lighter. In fact, I might do that on the arms slash wings in a minute as well. So I want to try and make sure that is... So when I do this one, I do it more intense, you can see that this is supposed to be overlapping, which is, I think, the idea with the feathers. You sort of get layers of feathers. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm so sniffy. Perhaps I shouldn't have uh, recorded today, but now I've started. I want to get the picture done for you. So... Uh, I hope everyone else is well. I'm feeling okay myself. I was quite, um, yesterday or day before, I was quite cross. <laughs> um, the things were going a bit wrong with the kitchen and I was feeling ill. It wasn't a good combination. I got a bit cross with the company. Well, I phoned them four times and they kept saying they were going to phone me back and they didn't. I'm doing this like the tail, so I'm just going over it a bit. And they kept saying they were phoning me back and they didn't phone me back. And it was something that I felt needed sorting out quite urgently. And so it was stressing me and I just ended up getting really cross. But um, it's getting sorted now. I got a phone call back and an apology. So uh, that was good. But I shouldn't have really had to phone them four times. Especially when they told me I'd get a call back the same day and I didn't. Oh, I was a bit cross, as you can imagine. Now, the, for the beak, I haven't decided about this bit. I almost have. Um, for the beak and the feet, I'm going to use this yellow. It's called um, Ohm Yellow. <laughs> um, it is called Chrome Yellow. <laughs> and then I, I'm going to use it a bit lightly because I'm going to mix a bit of orange with it because I think it's, I don't know, a little bit too pale, a bit lemony. So I'm just going to do it lightly, like this. I'm assuming the end of his beak is normally a slightly different colour. And then I'm going to grab the orange, the, this one that we used before, reddish orange, and just add a little bit on top of that layer of yellow. I don't want too much because I don't want it, you know, I still want my pumpkin to stand out. I'm still thinking about what to do inside the eyes, etc. of the pumpkin, which is why I haven't done them. Maybe wondering why I haven't, because um, I haven't decided. I'm going to fade this up to the top because the beak would be shiny on there. Okay, now it looks a bit scruffy, but hopefully we go back over with the yellow and we can sort of blend it up a bit. And this time, compress a bit harder, get a bit of a layer down there. Um, yeah, so. Um, I don't know whether to put yellow in here or not, or whether that might just look a bit weird because he why would he be carrying a lantern with a lit candle inside it? But I'm gonna do it yellow because I think it would just look better than doing it black somehow. Now I've decided that I'm going to do the bit around the eyes. Excuse me, in the lighter green colour, we've got a, what's it called, um, meadow green. It's no good me showing you the name, it's been sharpened off. They do have numbers as well, but I always go for names. I can relate and remember a name much better than a number, I don't know about you. Now these poly colours, I rather like them. They go down quite nicely, but one of them... Um, kept breaking and it's only this short so that upsets me a bit you know I don't like to recommend a set of pencils when one does that however most of my sense of pen sets of pencils have some that do that so maybe I should just expect it maybe I should have done that that color I'm going to do this this color the top of the um, pumpkin but I'm going to go over it a few times so it looks doesn't look exactly the same as that. There we go. Now, where should we go now? We need to do, um, we have got them inside the mouth. Let's do a little bit of pink. And for a tongue, this is called French pink. I'm going to do it very lightly because 
tongues aren't really fluorescent pink. I think that's fine. You may struggle to see that. But now, the hat and jacket, I think matching is rather nice. Um, Halloween y, you think black or purple? Um, I'm wondering about black and purple. I haven't used this black much. I'm rubbing my hands. I'm cold. So thinking this is the black. Is it just called black? Ivory black. So thinking we'll do quite a strong amount of black in here. And less here as we come round. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. Oh, and more under here. Because Morgan O'Brien, the illustrator, has shown us where to put our really hard black and then a bit less here but we don't want it to look too grey I don't think but on the other hand we do want to show some difference in colour I'm going to make it darker here and lighter leave that bit there where I've left it white do the same on this side and see how it looks or whether it needs a bit more I'm just going to tidy that up a bit there mm. I think we'll do the brim um, bit this bit and see how then that edge bit looks so I'm going in with more layers near the edges and then just lightening them less layers as we go towards the middle I'm gonna go right across though not leave any white because otherwise it's not gonna look like I'm trying to make it shiny like metallic I want that it's not metallic cat now the shine on this one's going to be tricky because it goes up here and then it turns so I'm going to deal with this pointy bit first I actually do them in two separate bits to make it easier for me to get that shine the area in the right place And as long as they sort of join up, then it should work. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to do a purple band, but I thought we could do a black stripe. Where these are darker, we'll just put some black on. Don't need to be too harsh with it. Now on this page there is also a Christmassy character. Um, but I'm not going to do him today because it isn't Christmas. Um, although the TV advertisers seem to think so. I just had an email for Christmas um, items. This is the um, Lavender Violet. And I'm going to try and make it shine in the same places here. So make it darker here. Um, I had an advert from Arteza for their Christmas gift ideas. I realised you need to, they've got their advent calendar out and they need to advertise that early because, you know, people buy those earlier because obviously you need those by the 1st of December. But it isn't even Halloween yet and we're already getting adverts. This is going to be quite hard block colouring on the jacket or whatever it is top. I'm really interested to know what this character actually looks like once I've finished <laughs> to see whether he looks anything like this. Now we have got these bits here. Now I'm thinking, oops, um, I'm thinking we've got autumnal, um, it's autumn, it's Halloween. So let's make them look like um, autumn leaves. So if we take this one, this is our um, reddish brown. Sorry, my hand's over it and do the tip, I mean the base, sorry, in that, it doesn't matter which way around, if you've done the tip in it, just do all the tips, I just make them all look the same, uh, I think that's the ground, so we'll do that one, and this one, wait. I'm never quite sure how to colour these triangle bits that, um, that, that uh, Morgan O'Brien has a habit of putting on pictures, so I'm going to now use the um, reddish orange, I'm going to go over the bit that I've done already and then extend the colour of it, leaving a gap. I want to fade it slightly into that gap so that I can blend in some yellow at the end. Uh, 
Now, we've got the dilemma. Do we do this, see here, do we do this whole area here as grass? And if we do, then do we need to do sky? And I would say, yes, if we do grass, we probably need to do sky. I'm just going to colour over all of these in the yellow to sort of bring it all together. I don't really want to do sky. I'm not in the mood for it. I'm feeling like I don't want to colour something that takes me too long. So I'm going to cheat. I'll show you. Um, I'm going to use a mixture of the two greens. So it looks a little bit different. Oops. I don't drop it. So the dark green first on the base and take that up off this grassy bit like that and that bit and then take the other green this is the meadow green put it over the top and take the colour all the way to the tip like that and then those triangle bits um i like just doing this colour this is still the meadow green I'm going to put down a fairly hard application so it looks different to the um, face. And I'm not sure if we're nearly done. I mean, you could, if I wasn't feeling so bleh, <laughs> I would probably do the ground. And I'd probably just use this colour and go quick, quick, quick. Just along that sort of line there. So his foot is on the ground like that and then I will probably do some sky in the mountain blue just a quick sh -sh 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 -sh. but I'm not afraid I'm not going to do it so there we go so I'm going to just leave him there for you our little friend um oh I've just seen a bit I've missed hold on a minute what color is it going to be this color um the um this green the dark green look there's a little bit there in there that's gonna be dark green there we go now I finished so yes this was very short but I think it was I enjoyed it and uh, I just wanted to give you a little something sorry I had to get my hanky out a little something to do today and uh, it's rather fun making a video even though I'm not feeling 100% I'm sure I'll be better tomorrow. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.